Hi, this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brox. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning. Good morning. This is Kathy Brocks for LUTG Radio. <laughs> like what? For LUTG Radio. And it's today is January 29, 2014. And uh, it's about 6.36 in the a.m. And what is the weather like? It is still nipple cold. You know how, you know, when it's so cold outside, automatically, automatically automatically what is it's like I'm taking on another dialect or something automatically your nipples get all hard and cold or here's another one you get a brain freeze even though you haven't had ice cream it's because your head is so cold you got on three hats and you're like Ugh. yeah it's that kind of cold yeah it's cold outside <laughs> All right, y'all we got music for you we got an opportunity for salvation coming up and um, there's my piece about halfway through I want to say something first. Um, you 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 heard about the story about the young lady. Her name is Natisha Hillard, out of uh, Gary, Indiana, and uh, she was uh, I guess uh, the uh, she was arrested by the FBI uh, in Hammond, and uh, she's in I guess she's in incarceration over there in Hammond, and uh, she made a confession that she allowed this dude named Christopher M. Bohr to um, have uh, sexual relations and to take pictures uh, with her two little babies, her two daughters. And of course, I'm not condoning that. Come on now. What I'm saying is, there's something wrong with this picture. Um, on his computer, they showed that she was in the background watching. Uh, and reportedly, she did it because she ne he gave her money. So... You guys know how it is when, so if your child even looks like they're about to fall or get hurt, you drop everything and you run to them. If if somebody tries to put their hands on your child, no matter who they are, how big they are, or how small you are, whatever the circumstance, you forget all that and you run straight to them. I remember um, my uh, there was a I was living on the west side and. They began shooting, and my niece was three years old, and she was riding her big wheel. And in the midst of all the gunfire, I stood up because I realized that she wasn't there. And I could have, I could have gotten killed, but I completely forgot about the bullets because of this three-year-old baby was riding around on a bicycle, and she didn't know to get down to get off the bike of the off this big wheel. She didn't know to lay down on the ground. So I didn't, I couldn't see her. It's like I got this weird. I could everything just went white like like everything went blank I couldn't even see people on the streets I was so terrified because I couldn't find her and she, I was calling her name and I couldn't hear her and I was just completely just horrified that I couldn't find her. I thought oh my god is she gonna end up dead right so my cousin my neighbor uh, she she saw her she heard me screaming her name and she saw her and she's like, why can't she, she was trying to figure out how come I couldn't see her. But she saw her and she ran down off the porch out of safety. And she uh, basically put her body over my niece. That's what mothers do. No matter what's going on, that's whether you have a child now or whatever. Women cover 
like a bear. They cover their children like a bear. I don't care what's happening. Men do it too. That's that father instinct. So there's some, I think that there's something else to this story. I really do. I think there's some uh, there's something else. And then my other question, which I'll tell you during uh, the My Peace segment. I have other questions too. Alright. So we're going to get this started. Uh, amen, amen, with some music here. I just want y'all to think about that. There's something else to that story. There's something else that's not being told. And honestly, I'd like to know. Wouldn't you? I'd like to know. I, there's something else. There's something that's getting missed. Here's Like a Deer by Ketonic. And I shall never forget you, Lord, the Lord of my birth, the source of my salvation. And I shall never forget you, Lord, the Lord of my birth, the source of my salvation. And I shall never forget you, Lord, the Lord of my birth, the source of my salvation. Let me your seed while you breathe. I am forever thankful.
Amen, 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 amen. We're about halfway through, y'all. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And I will tell you my piece, everything else that I was thinking um, about this Natasha Hilliard Christopher Board case coming up in just a, well, about less than a minute or so. All right, all right. LA Workout Apparel. Look good while you sweat yourself to help. Many great looks for a beautiful you. Sweat in style and LA Apparel at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Sweat in style at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Get your LA Apparel now. Hi, this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at LUTGRadio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. Hi, this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at LUTGRadio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right, y'all. It's about the time for my piece. This is where I give you my opinions and suppositions and, you know, probing questions all right now I'm not making light of the situation absolutely not at all I'm thinking about the uh, the the arrest of the 25 year old uh, mother who confessed to um, uh, allowing this guy Christopher M Bohr who she met at a, on a dating site to take new pictures uh, of her daughter with him in it doing some uh, some things that he shouldn't be doing and that's been going on since 2011 um and wow um she says it was going on since September 2011 um th this this is strange because my question is has he done this before this is everybody's question and I know you're thinking it cuz I thought it has this guy Christopher Bohr ever done this before I'm thinking yes I can't prove it well, again again this is my opinion I'm thinking because one it goes against every male and females instincts to do something like what he did it so imagine if it was your child you'd be ready to punch somebody in the face matter of fact not, you wouldn't stop at the face you try and put your you would try and put your fist or bore your fist to their face. So I'm wondering what's going on. I'm wondering uh, are these sites, these dating sites, are there people that uh, that are you know like this? That are are they uh, basically hunting single women with children? Because to me, it seems like a hunt. It seems like they're hunting single women with children. And when you find a woman that has low self-esteem, oh, you can get her to do anything. But I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying, I'm really trying to figure out what's going on. What could he have said to her to make her agree to something like that? And, and uh, he evidently, if he's taking pictures like that, he's sharing them with someone. Who did he share him with? What group is this? Is it just in Indiana? I don't think so. They never really stay close to home. When you when you see all these news reports, it's always it was passed from this state to that state, this country to that country. This is huge network, evidently, of child pornography, uh, prostituting women, um, sex trafficking of both male and female. So I'm wondering, what's going on? You know how how deep does this particular sale or ring go? Because he's up there pleading not guilty. She's facing thirty to life, and it don't look like he's facing anything. Um, some there's there's more to this story. There's more to the story, and I'm sure that the public officials and the police have asked the same questions or thought the same things. But I'm just wondering, because y'all know, growing up, there was always one or two houses on the street where there was some weird activity going on. It could have been just straight prostitution. 
But sometimes there was other types of things going on. And you couldn't quite prove it. Sometimes it was just drug dealing. Although that's not a good thing. But other times it was other weird things. Sometimes it was just people practicing witchcraft. That's not good either. But it always makes you wonder. How many, how many of your neighbors are doing what Christopher Bohr did? Now I'm not saying go turn on your neighbors. But I'm just saying, for those that have gotten out of that life and managed to escape, let us know. Give us an insight as to what's going on there and how can people prevent it? How can What should people look out for? That's what I want to know. You know how to contact me, lutgradio at gmail.com. I want to do a phone interview with you. So if you a prostitute that has gotten out of the life and you can shed some kind of light on this story, Please do. If you are a reformed pimp, uh, I haven't met many of those, but God is able. Uh, let us know. Let us know. Amen. All the interviews that I do are always shared with the public, and that includes the police. So, all right. All right. I'm just saying. We got more music coming up for you, and we got the altar call. Amen. Amen. In less than six, seven minutes. Amen, amen, amen. Here is Kingdom Cry. We're green.
Of the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved if if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior but want to repeat this prayer confession after me Lord Jesus I ask you to forgive me of all my sins I confess my sins before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly 100 percent make me a light in a dark place and from this day forward i will leave this place and share you with everyone i meet and everyone i know it's commitment jesus i will get this world for you i pray this prayer to the father in the name of jesus amen i receive the baptism of the holy spirit in the name of jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link, Find a Church. Get baptized with water. Take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. Tell them you got saved on Barack FM Radio. And begin reading the Holy Bible, starting with the New Testament, uh, the book of John. Congratulations. Congratulations! Hallelujah! Amen, amen. I don't know why I'm talking like that. This is this is a serious matter. Really, congratulations. Uh, follow me to segment number three, which is um, coming up in a few short minutes. That's the birthdays. And also, today is Poetry Wednesdays. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I love it. I played a poem, uh, a song with my poem in it, uh, Like a Deer, at the top of this uh, segment. We got more poetry for you. Here's Mama Chill taking us to the next segment with Say. Say. 